In November 2008, better known as 26 by 11, Mumbai was shaken to its core as 10 terrorists from Pakistan infiltrated the city via the sea, launching a series of coordinated attacks on several high-profile locations, including the iconic Taj Hotel and the Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj Terminus. This horrifying assault, executed by the terrorist group lashkar e taiba resulted in the tragic loss of 166 lives and left more than 300 individuals injured. Amidst the chaos, Ratan Tata, then 70 years old, and the chairman of the Tata group displayed remarkable resolve. For three grueling days, he was seen standing at the Kolaba end of Taj Hotel, where security forces were engaged in intense operations against the attackers. His presence not only provided a sense of leadership, but also underscored his deep commitment to the safety of the guests and staff at the hotel. In a later interview with the National Geographic, Tata recounted the moments leading up to his arrival at the scene. He recalled, and I quote, Somebody called me and said there had been shooting at the Taj. I called the exchange, but there was no reply, which was strange. I got in my car and came here, but the watchman stopped me from going into the lobby because there was shooting. At the time, the hotel was bustling with approximately 300 guests and the restaurants were at full capacity. Tata praised the hotel staff for their bravery during the crisis. Without a formal evacuation plan, they managed to guide guests to safer areas within the hotel, despite the perilous circumstances. Tragically, many lost their lives in the process, including 33 individuals who died during the 60-hour siege at the Taj, among them 11 hotel employees. In the aftermath of the attacks, Ratan Tata made a heartfelt pledge to the victims and their families. He committed to reopening the Taj Hotel and ensuring comprehensive support for those affected by the tragedy. Reports from the BBC indicate that he took extraordinary measures by providing the families of the deceased with salaries equivalent to what they would have earned for the rest of their lives, demonstrating his commitment to their well-being. In a proactive response to future crisis, the Tata Group established the Taj Public Service a Welfare Trust, that is a TPSWT, to provide humanitarian support during disasters. Tata himself visited the homes of victims, ensuring that they received the assistance and care they needed during their time of grief. Reflecting on the harrowing events, Ratan Tata shared his thoughts on social media in 2020, marking the 12th anniversary of the attacks. He emphasized that the wanton destruction of that day would never be forgotten, but he also highlighted the resilience of the people of Mumbai. He wrote, and I quote, the wanton destruction that took place 12 years ago today will never be forgotten. But what is more memorable is the way Mumbai as a diverse community came together, casting aside all their differences to vanquish terrorism and destruction. As Mumbai remembers the victims of that tragic day, Ratan Tata's actions and words as he has departed serve as a powerful reminder of resilience, unity and the enduring human spirit in the face of adversity. His commitment to supporting the victims and their families continues to resonate, illustrating the profound impact of compassion and leadership in the times of crisis.